back again with an exciting video keeping you awoke and attentive. Today's video is going to be about Kutpud. Now, I'm going to tra translate that. In English, that is what they call goofering in the South. You know, for those of you American voodoo, uh, African Americans that are that are uh, hoodoo tradition whatsoever, you know that as goofering. Now, kutpud in uh, Haitian culture is a little different from, uh, let's just say, a little different from American hoodoo. You know, but it's majority of it is pretty much the same whatsoever. Now, in Haitian tradition, you know, for Haitians. You know, we've grown up in households where we heard our parents joking around saying, you know, certain people got caught with a coup de pud, you know, whatsoever. Well, I'm going to explain the coup de pud. The coup de pud in, in Haitian language is more of, you can say, used in a negative manner rather than good. Now, pud is po means powder in Creole. Coup means, you know, let's just say a, 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 a hit, you know, a hit whatsoever. So a hit of powder whatsoever. So... When we're talking about this powder, see, the thing is, there's many ways to concoct herbs. You know, you can make er mix herbs up and then, you know, or it, basically you can uh, put them over the stove and then make it into essential oil itself, you know. Uh, or you can uh, basically let it sit for a while in a bottle whatsoever, you know. That's another method. Now, you, like, to basically create a concoction for, like, let's just say in a, a potion or whatever they want to, you know, whatever term you want to use for it. Um, if it's a potion, that's the way of doing it. Now, the powder or pood, you know, basically means, well, basically it's a, it is a concentration of herbs molded into a powder. It can be used for good or bad, you know. Basically, if you don't want to use oil, you can use it as a powder on your body whatsoever, you know, that's that's the way Haitians use it sometimes, you know what I'm saying? You can use it as a powder on your body, or you can burn it as a form of incense itself, you know? Um, now, Kutpud can take a dark, uh, a dark uh, point, uh, well, a, a dark turn, where it becomes what you call goofering in, Af like in, in, in African American hoodoo itself, you know, where um, the powder basically is like mixed up with like neck like bad like violent like what do you say very uh pre like like let's just say the term i'm looking for is like creatures that are known for being predators so you can say and it can be a mixture of other things from graveyard dirt to a bunch of other things you know so therefore in a hoodoo sense the group ring you, you go into a place you throw that powder down in a place and you leave make sure you don't make any contact with it now all of a sudden hey Everybody starts fighting. Who knows? You can throw war powder in a place. So that's pretty much what it is. It's similarity. Now, the kutpud in a voodoo sense takes a, a, a slight turn from the, 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 the hoodoo application. We're not to say hoodoo only does dark magic with, with uh, uh, powders and stuff like that. Because there's good magic as well. You know? Um, now, I haven't seen this in African American hoodoo. This is mainly a thing in that is... A Haitian thing where the powder becomes uh, poisoned you know where it's like it can be used for poison as well where some people they would crush glass into it and basically throw it down where somebody would walk barefooted you know or basically put somewhere where they know the person is going to step barefooted so therefore as they step on it the glass cuts them and all the poison enters into their bloodstream you know what I'm saying so Again, it's like different places, somewhat different places do different things. So that's just the, the coup de pud in that sense whatsoever. But that follows into the whole uh, the whole other aspect of, you know, Boko tradition, which is basically poisons and stuff like that, you know. Um, but as far as uh, the coup de pud is concerned, that's what I can say much about it. I don't think really there is really much more to cover it. I mean, I but I just wouldn't recommend anyone trying to burn it as an incense for like negative work i i personally never liked that like i don't like to do it i've had too much experiences with releasing energy like that into the universe it's better to concentrate it into something than ba or basically throw it rather than burn it because it's something about burning negative oils 
um, on an oil burner or basically burning it as an in like or powder at negative powders as an instance that releases that shit into the universe. You know, for some pound reason, it, the outcomes is never good. So I think the best thing, you know, from my opinion, is basically throwing it somewhere where so like an enemy lives, or basically if it's good, you anoint yourself, or you put it on yourself like a pot, like an oil, like you would with an oil whatsoever, you know. So if it's for good money, you just take it like you know, you pass it on your body, and you go where you need to go, you know. So this is my thought on kutpud or goofering. Um, so with that said, uh. I conclude this video. Hopefully, I answered this question. You know, my this this request video whatsoever. Um, I know it's a person whatsoever. I can't really mention his name because Haitians are very secretive whatsoever. So that's why I didn't shot you out for this video. So you know who you are. Um, hopefully, I answered your question. Otherwise, thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe.